I'd like to call to order the special special meeting of the McMinnville City Council, August 2nd, 2022. It is 5.39 p.m. Um, and request that Claudia Cisneros do a roll call. Councilor Minky. Present. Sort of. Councilor Chenoweth. Here. Councilor Payne. Here. Councilor Peralta. Here. Council President Garvin. Here. Councilor Geary is absent this evening and interim mayor Drapkin. Here. Um, just before we begin, I just, I wanna say not only to these in this room, but the public who may or may not tune into this meeting at some time, I just wanna take a moment to acknowledge the onslaught of emotions that our community has been feeling uh, since Saturday's shooting. Um, this incident occurring uh, without injury or death, I believe is a real testament to the quality and professionalism of those who serve our community. And I encourage everyone to take a moment to check in on your friends and neighbors. Um, and thank you. Uh, we are now addressing um, statewide measure 109 um, and our options. This is a continuation from the July 26, 2022 city council regular meeting. Um, and I would ask our city attorney, Walt Gowell, to continue the topic uh, from July 26. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as I think all of you are aware, statewide measure 109 passed the voters in 2019 that provided a process for the state uh, creating regulations uh, to implement licensure starting January of this coming year. That process has been very slow. Uh, in recent, uh, in the last couple of months, the League of Oregon Cities uh, shot out a bulletin to all the cities, uh, reminding them that there's a local option uh, provision in the measure that allows cities to either allow the state regulations to go into effect and simply allow licensure to begin on January 3rd, of 2023, or alternatively to put a measure on the ballot which prohibits uh, psilocybin facilities within the city, or uh, the third option was to put a temporary up to two year ban on the, uh, uh, on the ballot to allow the voters to delay the implementation of measure 109 for a period of two years. And at your last meeting, you uh, the council passed uh, on a split vote a uh, two-year suspension. Uh, I believe the vote was four to two, as I recall. And um, so you have two options before you tonight. One, um, approve that ordinance uh, on its second and final reading, in which case that will act as a referral measure to send this measure to the ballot for, uh, for the voters to give their yay or nay. Or two, uh, not approve the measure uh, the ordinance would not go into effect on its second reading, and uh, the council would, in effect, be deciding to allow the me Measure 109 to simply go into effect, uh, subject to whatever state rules are in effect in January, leaving the city with a time, place, and manner option that it could exercise along the way as it deemed appropriate. Thank Question. you. Questions? Uh, I had a question of if we had received any testimony between last meeting and this meeting for or against. No. Any other questions? Council discussion. I have a comment. So I was one of the more, um, one of the folks who was most against verbally uh, this measure. Um, it was pretty late at night from what I was looking at it. And um, I appreciate both uh, Jessica and Adam's uh, comments in the meeting. It caused me to reevaluate and review the ordinance, the, the statute that voters passed, as well as the OHA guidelines. And then I showed them to my wife, who is a clinical psychologist who has worked on prescription privileges for psychologists. And um, yeah, I, I actually agree with the majority of the council that uh, that there's not sufficient training um, in the measure, and I'm concerned about the guidelines or lack thereof that OHA has put out. So I'm in agreement with the majority position that was stated at council, and I think we ought to just make this a quick meeting. 
Any other council discussion? All right. I, uh, Sorry. I, um, I'm going to go start with Chris. Okay, I, I'm more than willing to let the lady speak if she wants to go before me. Um, Adam was first. <laughs> oh, Adam, that's, I mean, I was just going to say thank you for that, Sal. Um, I appreciate your uh, uh, researching it by by folks that actually have the knowledge, particularly your wife, to be able to speak to what this bill has to say. Um, so thank you very much for, for that. Um, and, and I would agree with Sal. Thank you, Council President. Um, I would just like to state that I, you know, yeah, we are referring a two year thing to the voters, but if it is voted down in November, we will need to be ready with time, place and manner stuff. And so I don't know how much time we should spend on that before the vote, but I think it should definitely be in our, in our radar screen and that we're not just reactive to that and trying to fit that in the last two meetings of the year because we won't meet for Thanksgiving, we won't meet for Christmas. And so with how rushed the time, place, and manner restrictions were when Martha was here with the marijuana, I would just like to stay in front of that. And, um, you know, if we use them now, then then great. You know, if we don't have to use them, great. But uh, I don't think this just says, hey, we'll have it for two years. I think we should still look at time, place, and manner. And um, I definitely am see the medical benefit to the microdosing. Um, it's just the state hasn't been clear on where they want us to be and so or where they're going to be and with how much they stumbled with marijuana i think the two years will get us a lot better in product if the voters agree to it if not let's make sure that we're ready we can look out to the fall and make sure we set aside some work session time in the okay. fall that would give the council a chance to sort of set some parameters on a policy discussion and still give you the chance to put those in place by the end of the year if you need to Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for that um, suggestion and uh, Council President. Um, Councilor Payne. I just want to confirm so that it, it's a solid two years. It's not up to two years. No, this, so this measure is until December 31st, 2024. Okay. Okay. And then have the, I'm just out of curiosity. Have there, have you seen any cities ready to pre, or any cities creating those time, place, and manner policies? We have not yet. Okay. I know that there are a number of cities who are considering similar temporary bans, yeah. um, and some councils have already taken action, and others are planning to take action this week to meet the, the state standards. Two, two of our clients have uh, voted to go to the, uh, po go to the voters for a two-year ban. That's Sheridan and Carlton. Yes. Kaiser, Independence. And I believe the county has. Unless okay. I'm mistaken, I think the county commission. I think on Thursday. Maybe, they, uh, maybe that's the second. Uh, they, I think maybe they just had a first second reading. second reading this week. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. I just hadn't heard anything sure. sort of like on the contrary, and was yeah. just more curious than anything. There, there has been a lot of time, place, and manner restriction thought get put into the marijuana initiative, and I think similar type of conditions and restrictions might be applicable. I'll entertain a, uh, Chris, a uh, Councillor Chenoweth. Yeah, I wasn't just making a funny face. Um, um, <laughs> in terms of um, wording on the ballot measure, is that exactly what's going to be in the packet, or are we going to be putting some sort of statement in the voters' pamphlet alongside that? The uh, the ordinance actually contains the uh, statement there's that we go on the voters' pamphlet. And yes, and there's nothing more than that that's going to be in there. No. Okay. Well, not unless people pay to and put in their own statement. Right. Any, any, anyone can put in an additional statement. For or against. Yeah. yeah. For or against, yes. Do we want to take any comments from, it looks like there's a couple people online. Nope, uh, we were not open. I mean, well, uh, I mean, we, we, it would change the nature of the meeting. Okay. to do so uh and we didn't have any memos from the pd or anything right no. okay well uh i would entertain a motion to consider the second reading of ordinance number 5119 so moved second i have a motion from Councilor Payne, a second from Councilor garvin all those in favor please signify by saying aye aye aye, aye. aye. 
The motion passes unanimously. I would now call on our city attorney, Walt Gowell, to read ordinance 5119. By title only. Ordinance number 5119, an ordinance declaring a temporary ban on psilocybin service centers and the manufacture of psilocybin products, referring such ordinance to the voters and declaring an emergency. I'll now ask for a motion to adopt ordinance number 5119. So moved. Second. For the reading. I, didn't, I guess I don't understand that. I, I mean, it's fine, but didn't we do first reading at the last meeting and then this was the second reading? This is the second reading. So then how do we have a, okay. The first motion was just to um, to take take us in the direction of doing, of, of, re, of doing the second reading. Got it. Okay, so I have a motion by Councillor Mankey and a second by Councillor Chenoweth. Um, I would now- Not Chenoweth. Oh, I now ask the city recorder uh, yeah. to poll the council. This is what the uh, amended language, right? Do we need to state that in this motion or no? This is with the amended language that was put in uh, at the last meeting in accordance with state law uh, in the summary statement, I believe it was. And it came out in our pockets. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, exact, the exact words are... Um, It's in the summary. Yeah. There you go. Uh, the sentence reads, state law allows for the manufacturing, transportation, delivery, sale, and purchase of psilocybin, the psychedelic drug found in certain mushrooms in compliance with state law. Those were the words added. Okay. Um, I will now ask uh, uh, our city recorder to poll the council. Councilor Minky. Aye. Councilor Chenoweth. Aye. Councilor Payne. Aye. Councilor Peralta? Aye. And Council President Garvin? Aye. The ordinance number 5119 is adopted by a vote of five to zero. And the special council meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.